football is a dash, right? It's running, I guess. Football is just like addiction. Like a picnic? A soul, actually. It helps us connect as a family. In 2015, Bhutan made history by defeating Sri Lanka, a team ranked 35 places above them in the FIFA World Rankings. And it appears to be a full house here, and the mood here is quite electrifying. The then FIFA president, Sepp Blatter, described this win as one of the most historic milestones in the football history of this country. Bhutan's manager, Kishi Shering quoted, In the land of happiness, we were able to make people more happy. Bhutan with the first goal. Bhutan draws first blood yet again. Not even five minutes into the game. 2004 5 site where uh, the Olympic Committee did a survey to find out the most popular sport in Bhutan, and it was there that uh, football was seen to be the number one sport in Bhutan. Football started in Bhutan in the early 1960s and was a byproduct of uh, our students going outside to study, learning to play football, and then bringing it back to the country. But it was largely at the recreational level. During the early 1980s, I think our team did manage to get some sort of wins in the local region. It was only recently during the last World Cup qualifiers that our team really started showing its potential. I think uh, students uh a lot of fun and uh, they prefer playing football than other games now. Since kindergarten I had been playing football when I was in class 4 and there I was selected as a school team. Uh, I don't feel shy because from class 2 till class 15 I used to play. Oh, it's fabulous, it's, it's fabulous where many people are cheering and watching us. Shouting, poop them, poop them, poop them and I used to get more confident and I used to play well. Uh, the, the more uh, people watch, the more we have uh, enjoyment to play. Sir. My dad wouldn't say no if I saw an Arsenal jersey and I, I would say, Papa, <laughs> and he would say, come to me. He just asked me the price of this thing and then he'd just buy for me and also for boots and all, they, they are like very supportive. They have invested more in my football than in my studies. <laughs> From the management side, I think we have also taken into consideration this so much of interest that students have shown over the years. And uh, we conduct almost around three or four big tournaments uh, in a year so that, uh, so that uh, we are able to support uh, you know, our in students' interest in football. What we have realized now is infrastructure is very important for sports. Sir. We have difficult time in having proper football grounds due to our topographic and our general geographical area of our country, it's mainly covered full of mountains. It was very cold, proper natural grass was difficult to maintain. Now with proper grounds we have been allowed to play. In terms of technical area, we have also developed quite a lot. We have a lot of coaches, a lot of referees. The current, I would like to believe, level of success that we are having in football is largely because of the installation of world-class football teams in Bhutan. For example, this very ground over here that you see. I mean, this was one of the first astroturfs we installed in Bhutan.
over the years, I think uh, football has not only, uh, you know, brought classes and students and faculties together, but it has also promoted a kind of a communal connectedness. Tibu City girls went up to play in, in Sakten, which is a remote area in Bhutan. They had a game there, brought the Sakten girls to Thimpo, and uh, it was a new thing for the girls from Sakten. We asked them if they could play in boots. They had a difficult time. They, they stuck back to playing in barefoot. Now we are actually trying to set up a ground in Sakten. Because we thought, we felt that the girls were really, really interested in football and we need to popularize uh, girls' football in Bhutan. We have communities coming here. You know, earlier our ground used to be very muddy and, you know, a lot of difficult playing, especially in summer as well as winter. Now with the AstroTurf here, you know, we have got a lot of uh, local people, you know, all the time, every week coming and playing here, you know, over a long period of tournaments. Uh, so I think that much of importance uh, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, value we put in football culture amongst the youth in Bhutan.